What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today we're going to be talking about the best submachine gun in Call of Duty World War 2. Now in the beta, the submachine guns were by far the best classes that you could use. Uh, the Peepish was super dominant uh, and the, the Thompson or the M1928 uh, was also really really good. Um, and so when people popped in Call of Duty World War 2, the full version, um, they were expecting the same thing. But we now come to realize that Sledgehammer toned down the submachine guns a little bit uh, so that way the assault rifle also have their fair shots uh, and I think it's really important to choose whether you need an assault rifle or a submachine gun depending on your play style and the map that you're using uh, but I'm gonna use I'm gonna make a different video for that whole topic altogether today I just want to focus on what are the best submachine guns in Call of Duty World War 2 and it's not a single gun there's no one single answer but there are um, there are uh, two guns that I think are the best submachine guns in the game now some people were saying that when they first logged in they used their prestige token to unlock the m1928 uh, which is the Thompson which is what I'm gonna refer to it as for the rest of the video um, because they know that it was really really powerful in the beta so they wanted to use it right out of the gate for Call of Duty World War II the official release uh, and everybody's saying that they've come to find out that the gun is not as good as it used to be um, they're saying that it's it's not worth the prestige token it's not you know gonna be the same feeling as during the beta um, they've definitely toned it down a bit uh, I've also heard from people who've unlocked the mp40 that that gun is not as good as they were expecting as well um, of course it's a good gun because again it is the mp40 uh, and it's just a really really solid submachine gun but it's not the best in class so if those two are than what are this is actually good news because those two guns are the last two guns in the class that you unlock uh, and the best two submachine guns in the game are actually the first two submachine guns that you that you get uh, the grease gun you have automatically unlocked right out of the box uh, and you also get the peepish as the first submachine gun that you can get um, now which is better now I, I break I've broken this down into two different classes now which is better well I think they both shine in their own individual respects uh, one gun is better at some things whereas the other gun is better at others uh, and they both have their own place so I have a class for both of them uh, but they're not running the same attachments and I don't use them on the same maps now the grease gun is better for close to medium range and I think it works better at longer distances than the peepers because it has that slower rate of fire so it kind of helps you can contain that recoil of the gun now while you're gonna be a lot more mobile with the grease gun than you would with let's say an assault rifle or an LMG or a sniper uh, you're definitely gonna be trying to get to those you know close to medium range engagements more than with the peepish uh, the peepish you want to get into like right up in their face engagements and that's where it's really gonna shine uh, so with the grease gun the attachments that I'm running are the quick draw sight or the quick draw handle or whatever you want to call it and the grip because I found that the recoil on the grease gun uh, can be a little bit hard to manage especially when you're fully fully firing instead of tapping uh, shots if you hold down the trigger that recoil can get to be a little bit difficult to manage so so the grip is definitely something that I would recommend on the grease gun again as as well as the quick draw sight why do I keep calling it the quick, quick draw sight it's it's a fucking grip I'm just, oh my god I've done some testing with the quick draw grip in the firing range and it's definitely a huge huge difference um, not only is it a huge difference just when you're standing still going from pulling in to you know from at your hip to looking down the sights um, but it's also really important and this is something that people overlook often um, when you're pulling away from the sights to your hip uh, that speed matters a lot because in this game uh, you, you're actually turning pretty slow when you're aiming down sights with some of these submachine guns so if you snap onto a target but they're sprinting you might get your first shot but you can't drag your sight as fast as they're sprinting across the screen so the best way to do it is to actually pull the gun back to your hip turn and then pull it back up really quickly uh, and that that quick like you know pull down pull up uh, maneuver is really something that you can only pull off effectively with the quick draw grip um, so I really really think that you need the quick draw on these submachine guns um, so that is something that I'm gonna recommend for the grease gun um, and the grip again like I said the grip is just important for that recoil uh, I think the iron sights are perfectly fine on the grease gun yeah they're a little bit thick and shitty um, but it's definitely something that you can work with because it does have that 
that little metal piece that sticks right up you know right where the bullets are going to go uh, and i think it's it's something that you can really really use at the ranges that you're supposed to be using the greek gun for uh, if you start to push those medium to medium long ranges that iron sight's really going to suffer but again that's really not the ideal range that you want to use the grease gun anyway uh, so i think the iron sights are something you can work with definitely um better to have the quick draw and the grip than the than the um you know like a lens sight or something like that but if you think that you can manage the recoil totally fine i would say keep the quick draw put on a lens sight or put on the the red dot or whatever you want to put on there um to my testing i would say that advanced rifling just isn't worth it um i've done some testing in the firing range stuff like that and it no matter whether you have the silencer on or not it really doesn't change the amount of shots per kill at any reasonable range um the ranges that you're gonna be using the grease gun for i don't think the advanced rifling really is effective there again with or without the silencer Silencer. Um, so it might make a small difference, but I don't think it's a big enough difference to warrant uh, replacing the grip or a lens if you want. Um, so that's just my recommendation. Um, should you use the silencer? Yes. Uh, I think the silencer's uh, effect on the gun is very, very minimal, and it's way better to be off the radar than to have that slight range boost by taking off the silencer. Now, the cool thing is that in this game, you could actually take the uh, silencer, put it on or off, depending on your engagement. So it's really versatile. You don't need it for every engagement, but as a default, I would say it's better to just have it on than not. Uh, and I'd rather take it off if I need to than put it on when I need to because I I think you'll need that silencer a lot more than you won't uh, so let's say 90% of engagements it's better to just have that silencer on um, again because if with this with this class you're gonna be pretty mobile um, you're gonna be going for that short to medium range kills so you're gonna be pushing into the enemy spawn into the other side of the map where they're gonna be spawning um, and if you want to win those gunfights you're going going to want to stay off the radar because the clip size is not that good on the grease gun it's only 30 which is better than the assault rifle rifles usually but uh it's still not a lot especially with that low rate of fire um you're really really going to have a hard time uh killing you know multiple people back to back especially if you're injured especially with the flinch in this game uh, it's just gonna be really really hard so if you're getting uh you know if you're drawing uh people to your location behind enemy scenes um then you're really really just acting to be killed so that silencer is crucial and I think this goes without saying, but the hustle basic training is probably just the best one overall, in my opinion, uh, because it gives you that quick reload. And that's just like super important. Again, with going into enemy lines, um, you really want to be able to reload as fast as possible in case you do end up in an engagement right after another. Um, you want to be able to kill that enemy, duck behind cover, reload, kill another enemy, uh, and hustle really helps that. Now, on to my favorite submachine gun, and this is the Peepish. You all already know what I'm going to be talking about. I mentioned it before, uh, and when the game first came out, I wasn't a huge fan of the Peepish because I thought the recoil was just too high. Um, I wasn't a fan of it uh, and it turns out I was just using the gun wrong and, and now that I've started to use the gun the way that it's intended to be used I found that it's a really really effective SMG and it's probably the best in the game while the grease gun is going to perform better at some of those medium range kills up close the peepish is probably going to melt a lot faster in almost every instance uh, and this class setup is slightly different what I will say is hustle remains the same. You're going to want to keep hustle on, especially for the peepish, because this is where you're going. This gun is where you're going to take it right to the enemy's face. You're going to be right up in their grill. You're going to keep moving, stay with that fast-paced gameplay, uh, and you need hustle for this class because you're going to constantly be reloading. The good thing about the peepish is that it actually has a 35-round magazine compared to the 30-round magazine of the grease gun, um, so you won't have to reload as much. It'll help you with those two pieces. Uh, and even some three pieces but again you still want to reload as much as possible in this game now like i said the difference between the grease gun and the peepish is really that range um you're going to want with the peepish to be right up in their in their face uh and and the class setup is slightly different because of that now i didn't put on the grip for the peepish even though it has probably a worse recoil because it's got that higher fire rate right the gun shoots faster than the grease gun 
um, so you would think that you would want the, the grip on there but in my personal opinion I think you want to be so close to the enemy um, that the grip hardly makes a difference now of course the grip works um, best for medium to longer ranges uh, but you don't want to be using the peepish in those ranges anyway you want to stay away from those long lines of sight with this gun uh, because you're just not going to be able to pull it off even with a grip you're not gonna really get those long range shots um, I think long range uh, for this gun is like five or six shots to kill and it's just not gonna happen um, I really don't even think there's a headshot multiplier for the peepish um, or for any gun so I've seen so far it doesn't seem like the headshot multiplier really matters unless you have the um, the specific attachment on there for the assault rifle so I don't think it matters so really you're not gonna get those long-range kills with this gun except maybe if you're like an MLG pro player uh, and you really need that range on there then yeah you could throw the grip on but for like 98% of the time you don't need the grip for the peepish um, you do need that quick draw grip it's really important to have that on there for the same exact reason as I mentioned before with the grease gun you want to be able to pull up pull away pull up as fast as possible because you want to snap onto your target and if they're running you want to pull down adjust and re-snap onto them um, so it's super super important to have that quick draw grip uh, but the second attachment that you have on there is actually going to be steady aim now I thought that firing from the hip in this game was shitty because I was using the grease gun right when the game came out and I think firing from the hip with the grease gun is just a terrible idea it fires too slow uh, and it's just not effective in my personal opinion and in my experience firing from the hip uh, the peepish is a different story like I said it's got that higher fire rate it's got the slightly larger magazine size I really think the peepish shines at close range and I can kind of compare it to the ASM one from advanced warfare in my opinion it feels very very similar to that now also the iron sights on the peepish are really really good definitely better than the grease gun so the the temptation to put on a sight for this is a lot lower uh, and I think the best second attachment is steady aim because if you go into firing range and you pull up the peepish with steady aim and without you're gonna notice a huge difference especially when sprinting uh, in this class you're gonna be sprinting all the time you're constantly gonna be up in the enemy's face uh, and you really really are going to benefit from that steady aim because as soon as you run into an enemy steady aim is gonna let you fire from the hip and get off more shots than if you didn't have it while you're pulling up to uh, your your iron sights so the combination of the quick draw and the steady aim really lets you get the most accurate melty melty action uh, close range with the peepish paired perfectly with that fire rate uh, and mobility and everything like that now again silencer is get like a must for this gun because you're really gonna be uh, holding down a close quarters uh, area with this thing you really want to stay as close quarters as possible with the peepish you're absolutely gonna melt at that range and you really if, you, if you're gonna be getting into constant gunfights uh, you want to stay off the enemy radar as much as possible because if you're drawing attention to yourself and you, and people start to realize that hey he's been in that building for a while he must be camping uh, then they're really gonna start to nade you out of there they're really gonna start rushing in different routes stuff like that uh, and that's not what you want so you want to stay off the radar um, stay in those buildings or behind enemy lines come up from the back do those flank maneuvers with the peepish and stay as close range as possible and this class setup is absolutely going to help you do that and I think you're gonna see that you're gonna have a lot of fun using the peepish like I said at the beginning of this video there's no one best submachine gun but it seems like the peepish is the way to go for close range uh, and the grease gun is better for the close to medium ranges um, like I said I have a class for both I've been using the peepish more than the grease gun but I think the grease gun is still worth an honorable mention because if if you overlook it you're going to find that it's going to melt you uh, and you're not going to expect it at those medium ranges um, but if you really get good with the peepish I think that it's probably a better bet as long as you understand the maps understand where the, the traffic patterns are and where you should be going with that submachine gun uh, and, and the other thing that I mentioned at the beginning of the video is that it's super important to realize that in Call of Duty World War II some maps are just better for assault rifles like of course you can make it work with a submachine gun uh, but unless you're you know scumpy who's who's just dominant with the sub no matter what 
some maps you're just going to need the assault rifle and i think it's important to, to know that with both of these guns the grease gun and the peepish unless you're doing the perfect traffic patterns and you're really going in those in those lanes that have the close range engagements without those long ranges of sights uh you're going to get killed uh if you you know if you're not using the right gun on the right map so keep that in mind going forward use these submachine guns on the maps that it's better for um and and, and pick which one you think is best for the map or best for your play style if you like the up close and personal super fast fire rate super melty guns that you know uh have that high recoil then the peepish is your best bet if you like something a little bit more conservative a little bit more planned out a little bit more tactical and stealthy the greeks gun is probably your better option so that's it for this video guys hopefully you enjoyed i hope that i've helped you decide what submachine guns are best and hopefully i saved you that prestige token for something else because like i said the two last subs in this game um aren't the best ones in the class so definitely try these classes out let me know in the comment section below what you think of the submachine guns in this game and what you think of the classes that i've recommended here uh, and if you have, if you've had experience with the thompson or the type 100 or anything like that and you think that those guns are better drop a class setup down below and i'll try it out and i'll get back to you guys and if you guys are right i'll shout you out and say hey so and so had a better class than what i mentioned in my video here's his youtube and twitter and instagram whatever you guys want it's up to you uh and that'll be that'll be good for everybody because then i'll learn of a better class setup and you guys will get a shout out um so if you enjoyed the video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications because that's really going to help me moving forward and it's also going to help you guys know when i upload more call of duty world war 2 gameplay i'm really enjoying the game it's the best call of duty that we've had in a while uh so that's really refreshing and i'm really happy with it hopefully they don't they don't patch a bunch of shit and make the guns terrible um i like the that the fact i like the fact that the guns kill pretty fast in this game so anyway that's about it guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch and i will talk to you guys again soon peace